Hi everyone, today we're going to be watching episode 3 of season 2 of Origairu. Guys, this season is already so good. The past two episodes, they went by so quickly. Just because like everything in the story and the show has been so interesting so far. Last episode, I was just like, I was so upset with how Hachiman handled the situation with Hina or Abina, I think that's her name, and Tobe. Tobe is the one who really liked, um, Abina. So they found out that Hina just really wanted the friend group to stay the same. She didn't really want any growth with the friend group or any change because she just enjoyed how they have been hanging out now. I think she knew that Tobe was eventually going to say something to her and if she rejected him, things would have changed within the friend group. Yeah, I don't know if this arc is going to be concluded, but hopefully we'll like dive deeper into Hachiman's mind and why he always feels the need to put himself last and put everyone else in front of him. It's very selfless, but also selfish at the same time because obviously he's hurting himself and his friends don't want him to do that anymore. But anyway, let's get into episode 3. I'm so excited to watch more and hope you all are as well. Um, but feel free to give this video a thumbs up, you can subscribe to me down below. We are ahead on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube. We're like probably already in season 3 right now over on Patreon. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who is supporting me over there. Uh, y'all are awesome, y'all are the best. And yeah, let's get into episode 3 of season 2 of Origairu. Oh, they're back home now. ねえ。何かあった。むしろあれだな。逆に俺の人生何もなさすぎるまである。人間万事採用がうまくいくけど、多少なんかあった方がうまくいくのかもしれんな。The way he always goes into these like speeches. Come on. Talk about your feelings. I know it's really hard sometimes to do that though. お兄ちゃんは普段からどうしようもないこと言ってるけど、調子悪い時はさらにどうしようもないこと言うんだよ。ゆいさんとゆきのさんと何かあった？いや、mad at him. I like his She like she really actually cares for him. いい加減にしろ。何その言い方。別に普通のこと言っただけだろう。実際しつこかったし、うざかった。ちゃもい聞かない。そうしてくれ。Hachiman, <笑><笑> you make me sad. I feel like I need to um like clarify my stance on him because I think in some Patreon comments people are like, I hope you, I hope you learn to like Hachiman. And I do. I really, really like Hachiman. I like his character a lot. I feel bad for him. I'm like, I'm trying to think of my favorite character and it might be Hachiman. I know I said it was Hayama at the end of season one, but I, know, I think Hachiman's great. And I, I really hope that he learns to open up to people and not be so self-deprecating and self-sabotaging. I think he's very broken and he might not realize it. Or maybe he does realize it and he doesn't want to be helped. I don't know. Does he sense something different in him? Oh. Have they like talked at all after this trip happened? It seems like they haven't. The silence. Poor Yui, poor Yui is just like <laughs> between both of them. There's so much tension. Even if we know each other and understanding one another is still a problem. Very true. So not just gonna they're not gonna talk about anything that happened. They're just gonna go back to normal. Oh 
She's so upset about that, and I don't blame her. Something did happen. <laughs> Hachiman? Please. Oh? What was that smile for? He looks so angry to be here! Is it gonna be tough for her? We don't want her to get elected. Why? Huh. Oh, did other people make herself a candidate? Mm. Oh. They knew each other in junior high? She must be very popular. やりたくないなら選挙で落ちればいい。というか、それしかないだろ。うーん、ただ離婚が意識さんだけだから。ああ。どうなると信任投票ですね。応援演説をやるやつは決まってるのか。いや。なら簡単で。Is he going to do it? Is he going to be the one? He's like put me in coach. <laughs> ね、だろ。誰も意識のことは気にしないだろ。ね。だろ。それは確実性がないから仮に不信任になったとしても再選挙なんてわざわざすると思う。それから正当化への関心が低いのだから。She's so upset about this. You know what? Good for her for saying all that, okay? Guys, why is this making me sad? <laughs> like... It's just like the sad piano and the tension between these three and Hachiman being so self-sabotaging. Sabotaging。Hmm. そういうことになる。私たちの意見が割れても何ら問題ないということになりますね。お互い無理して合わせたって意味ないしな。それで解決するまで部活はどうするかね。自由参加で良いかってなれ合いなんて私もあなたも一番嫌うものだったの。True。
私で引きがくの何なの ?Where are we? 聞かれても。ああ。友達っていうのは変だよね。Big sister! ああ、いいや。いや。学校の先輩ってことでいいんじゃないですか。しかし、引きがくんと同じ中学校。なんか面白いことなかったのええー。恋バナお姉さん、引きがくんの恋バナ。No! I feel so bad for Hachiman! Why is he in this situation? Really? Oh. Oh, doesn't matter now. There may be some trauma from that, though. Oh, even girls outside of their school love Hayama. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but they do share a connection. Does she have his number? What? This whole situation is just like a fever dream. How did this happen? <laughs> Ooh. だって面白そうだし、あのパーマの子ね、引きがくんが昔好きだった子なんだって。ゆきなちゃんが知ったらどんな顔するかな。Why Interesting. I also, I don't think that she intends to be malicious, but also, I don't know. That's good. I love you, Wee. いつ以来だろうか。今も同じだ。今回も俺のやり方を雪の下が否定する。同じなら問題は何もない。いろはちゃん以外の候補を誰か立てて決戦投票で本便に負けるっていうのが一番いいと思うんだけど、こちらが立
the fact that maybe Hachiman and Yukino are going to get together or Hachiman and Yui are going to get together. If Hachiman keeps doing the selfless stuff to solve people's problems, he's going to continue to hurt his friends, okay? And if he wants to help Yukino or Yui with something and he does this method, that's going to make them upset. Like it's not going to help them in the way that he thinks it's going to. And so I think that's what that teacher was getting at. I think Yukino already can tell that Hachiman is so like self-deprecating and self-sabotaging. And so that's why she's getting so upset about this because they obviously care for one another. She cares about him a lot. You can tell in the way that she's getting upset with him. And I think part of it is also the fact that he doesn't want to change. When you care about someone, you want to see them grow and become a better person. And the fact that he's just constantly saying no to that, that has to grind her gears so much. Not just Yuki, but also uh, Yui as well. But I guess we'll see how they go about helping this girl who may become student council president. Um, we'll see whose situation works best, whose situation this girl's gonna choose. This makes me sad, I will not lie. I love these types of stories though, where like, you have a broken person and you try to put them together again. I hope that's what happens. I hope his friends can help him through this. Also, again, about Yuki's sister, I just don't understand her. I don't know what her big plan is. Does she have a big plan? Is this just who she is? I really did not like the way that she handled this situation with Hachiman at this donut shop. Like, that is such an uncomfortable situation for Hachiman to be in. To have your old junior high crush come in and then you like ask the crush about Hachiman's love life when I feel like she knows that he was lonely in junior high. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't know if she does things with malicious intent. I just didn't like that. Anyway, we'll probably learn more about her throughout this season as well, but thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. There's a lot to think about with these episodes, um, and I love it. I love using my brain <laughs> watching anime. But anyway, thank you all again, and I will see you in the next one for episode four. Okay, bye everyone.